Hey guys, welcome to a feedback lesson. Uh, I want to show you real quick how to create, control, and manipulate feedback at will. Uh, let me first define feedback though. What is feedback? Feedback is a simple situation where the volume of your amplifier is cranked up loud enough that the sound coming out of the speakers resonates through your guitar and vibrates your strings as if you were picking them or playing them yourself. Uh, thus creating kind of a cycle of sound or a circle of sound that would never end if you never muted the strings or if you uh, never turned down the volume of your guitar or turned down the volume of your amp. That's basically what it is. Now, how can you create it? How can you control it and wield it? Uh, three easy steps to that. Number one is volume. You gotta have your amp cranked up. If the, amp, the volume of your amplifier is not turned up loud enough, you're not gonna achieve feedback. Number two, this one's kind of a rule of thumb but not a law, and that is use distortion. Um, yeah, you can get it with clean tone, but you may be wrestling with it a little bit. Uh, so if you have an overdrive pedal, or if you have a distortion pedal, or if you have a gain knob on your amplifier, go ahead and crank that up because that's going to assist you in getting your guitar signal to feedback that much quicker. Number three, when you're ready to flip the switch and create feedback in a heartbeat or in an instant, turn around and face your guitar at your amplifier. Literally face the pickups or the strings directly at the speakers and that will get whatever chord or note that you're playing at the time to feedback instantly. Let me give a quick demo of that. I'll play a regular chord, I'll let it sustain for a couple of seconds, turn around, should feedback. Cool? Alright, now let me kick it up a notch. Uh, there's a brilliant guitar player named Joe Satriani, the brilliant man Joe Satriani brought us a very cool trick where he likes to manipulate his feedback to achieve passing tones. Um, well, what is that? How do you do that? Uh, it's easy. All you got to do is when you're playing uh, any note or chord and you're holding it down and it's feeding back, what you do is you start slowly pointing your guitar in different directions in whatever room you're in, or whatever venue you're in, or whatever bar you're in, or whatever stage you're on at the time. And this will change from room to room, so it requires experimentation. But you will hear the feedback begin to change pitch. It's a very cool sound. You can search a video called Flying in a Blue Dream, uh, which is a song that Joe wrote in the key of C. And when he plays it live, he likes to try to fool with it a little bit and achieve uh, I believe a root, a third, a fifth, a ninth, or even a major seventh, all with feedback. So let me try that now. Um, I'll try it in the key of C, and I'll try to get whatever I can out of it. didn't get it. You got the point though. So, hey, if your neighbors don't mind or if your roommates don't mind, crank up your amplifiers, step on your distortion pedal, turn around and face that thing, you'll be getting uh, feedback in no time. So have fun with it. Best of luck, rock on.